Oh god! Fuck! Good morning, friends. My name is Brandon Dayton. I'm your humble narrator. Welcome back to Project Zomboid. Hell yeah. We're here. It's uh, 3 in the morning. We got zombies banging on the windows and shit. What are you doing? What the fuck are you doing? She kind of gave up pretty quick, didn't she? Didn't she? That's some weak shit. You ain't supposed to do that. How about this house over here? How about we have a little look-see? Hmm. Oh my god, there's so many zombies running around. Jesus Christ. Where did they all come from? Well, see, there was a lot of people in the world, but now all the people's the zombies. Well, good. I'm glad it's all fucking over. Can I just be honest about that for a minute? Hello, sleepy man. Are you sleepy? Oh, he's very sleepy. He shotgunned himself to sleepy. <laughs> there are so many people that committed suicide in this side of town. What happened? What happened that made you decide to do this? Oh god. And the rain's coming down outside. It was a dark and stormy night. Dayton decided to sit down and play a little Project Zomboid. Hopefully it didn't mess up the audio too bad. Ah, <laughs> oh, maybe a little. Maybe a little, I don't know. We'll see. Hmm. Still looking for some band-aids. I would like to re replenish my supply. There might be a... a pharmaceutical whatnots over here somewhere. Oh my god, there's another... another side to this here street. My goodness, I didn't realize this place was so big. Alright, well that's just fine. We can do some more exploring. I do want to make my way up to the uh, the farm as well. Because there's been a special request to uh, take all the stuffed animals and let them have a tea party. I don't know if it's going to be in the woods as uh, Jinx requested, but I will, I will give them a tea party as they request. Because I'm a nice guy. I'm a nice guy like that, you know? You gotta keep the stuffed animals happy. They're people too, kinda. <laughs> They're more people than the zombies, that's for sure. Zombies out here trying to eat my fucking brain. I don't understand. What's going on? What you doing? Ah. But I'm kinda glad it's all over, you know? Society was a, a bit of a shit anyways. We were on the verge of a civil war, right versus left kinda thing. You had all these people. Oh, look at this. Angler Magazine in the mailbox. I should check the mailboxes. That's amazing. <laughs> yeah, that's nice. Really, I think uh, right versus left can agree on a lot of stuff. But um, yeah, for some reason, oh god, it all gets uh, worked up into something terrible, you know? And all of a sudden, people think we have, like, such differences. It's like, no. I just think that, uh, poor people don't need all the help that you're giving them. <laughs> Hell, I'm a poor person. All I want is an opportunity. I don't want no fucking handouts. That's garbage. That's fucking garbage. You gonna take from somebody else and give it to me? That's called stealing, son. They're like, no, we'll only tax, uh, we'll only tax people above my, my tax bracket. <laughs> This, this new higher text that I'm suggesting uh, is, is not going to be for me. It's going to be for everybody else above my tax bracket. Like, okay, sure. As soon as you start paying more, let me know. I'll, I'll get right on that shit, too. <laughs> I pay enough, okay? Some bullshit. Tell you what. Yeah, I don't understand how, uh, how people think communism is going to work, man. They're like, oh, capitalism, capitalism doesn't work because uh, people are too greedy and shit like that. It's like, well, communism's gonna work because people will be less greedy then, right? Yeah. When has that shit ever worked in, in the history of anything? Karl Marx was a fucking leech. <laughs> He's like, I got a bunch of free stuff from my friends, so I wrote a book about how we should all be friends and give each other free stuff. And then some people were like, yeah, let's definitely try that. And guess what? Killed a bunch of people. <laughs> That's how it went. 
I'm not looking forward to it. And if you look at Venezuela, holy shit. I've been reading some shit about Venezuela recently. That's why I keep talking about it. It just gets worse and worse. People don't have toilet paper. People eating ant eaters and shit like that. God damn. If you think America sucks, it's probably because you haven't left America. <laughs> Honestly. I used to think America was like so evil and shit like this and then I traveled to Japan and I'm like, wow. Japan has a lot of fucking problems too. They have like a, a really happy exterior and their crime is, you know, their crime rate is pretty low because <laughs> all of the crime that goes on is like Yakuza style, you know. They got their own little mafia and they kind of just let it run. They're like, okay. And then if anybody else is doing crime, the Yakuza come and they're like, I'm gonna chop your fucking hands off. Or worse. God damn. That's how they keep the crime rate down. It's a magical secret. So maybe we just need a fucking American Mafia. I'm gonna start that up. The Dayton Mafia. Anybody? Anybody want in on this? We'll probably be, uh... Shot down by the fucking National Guard and ATF at some point. <laughs> because we gotta let these small independent drug dealers do their thing. You know what I mean? <laughs> uh... Man, I'm feeling, I'm feeling funny today. I'm feeling kind of funny. Just a little bit. Must have been that peach pie that I ate. It was sitting out for a couple days and I'm like, is this good? And they're like, yeah, I guess. I don't know. And I'm like, you gotta refrigerate this shit, right? And they're like, I don't know, I guess. And I'm like, I'll be the guinea pig. I love pie. I'll be the guinea pig. And it, uh, fermented. <laughs> it fermented just a little bit, I think. Now I'm a, a little drunk, maybe? Is that what happened? I don't know. I'm, I'm too drunk to say for sure. All my bags are so fucking full. Ah, uh, I gotta leave something. I gotta leave something so we can go get the stuffed animals. Oh god, we gotta go back to the farm. We gotta go back to the future. -da -da -da. I was gonna... <laughs> I was so close to doing the Jurassic Park. Da 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 Back to the future! That's not Back to the Future. That's Jurassic Park. I know. That's what I just said. I just said that. Literally, literally, like 30 seconds ago. I'm not looking at the timer. 30 seconds may or may not be an exaggeration. What I'm trying to say, it was it was a short integer of time. Dang. There's so many fucking houses. I thought I was all lost and shit. I was like, I'm never gonna find the houses. And now they're, uh, they're basically everywhere. It's still super early, too. Ooh, what's in here? There's like a, a nice fence around this place. Hmm, it seems nice and defensible. <laughs> defensible because it's got a fence. Oh man, that's good. I'm gonna write that one down on my hand and immediately wash it. <laughs> Get rid of this shit. Why'd I write this shit down? I don't understand nothing no more. Oh, my wiffle ball bat broke uh, in other news. It only had one little one little point on it. And I didn't want to get myself fucked in the middle of combat. Oh my god, all these houses have fences around them. It's not like the super big fences. You can climb over it and stuff like that. But still, that's pretty encouraging. Hey, what are you doing? Standing in the kitchen. Silly. This is very nice. This is like a modern kitchen. I like these black, uh, black countertops. Although, the problem with the black countertop, you know, uh, if you spill flour on it... <laughs> Ah, uh, that's a joke, because if you have a white countertop, if you spill anything on it, it's gonna fucking show up. Forever. The same with cars. I've always driven gray cars. Because if you got a white car, it's like, yep, it's dirty. You just washed it 30 seconds ago, guess what, it's dirty again. God damn. And then, uh, if you got a black car, any, like, dents or dings that you get in it, yep, that shit's gonna show up for sure. And, uh, yeah. I don't drive that nice of a car, so I don't I don't care about dents and dings, shit like that. I'm like, yeah, whatever. Yeah, whatever. Shit happens. I need a drink. I need a fucking drink. Let's get some of this here. Fill up these bottles there. 
Drink some more. Drink some more. Drink some more. Drink some more. <laughs> okay. Now go pee. You, you can't pee? Oh my god. Are you suffering from kidney failure? That's so bad. Pretty soon little Dayton's gonna turn yellow and fucking <laughs> lose his energy or... I don't know. What happens when your kidneys fail? Your body fills up with poison. That's one thing that happens. Besides that, I don't know. It's a mystery. I shouldn't run too much. I'm not gonna be able to beat the shit out of these fellas if I do. My blunt accuracy, getting up there pretty good, I do think. I can't wait to see that shit through the roof. Till I'm just fucking braining people. Walk up to them, brain them. And then I can set up shop in the mall for sure. I, the mall is always in the back of my mind. It's like I'm fucking 16 again. <laughs> if I'm 16, I gotta be like, oh yeah, I'm such a punk rocker. I'm so against authority, man. And then you get old and you realize that shit's not feasible at all. You're like, oh, the police are my friends. God damn it! Another fucking alarm. Really? Uh, I just wanted a little rest. Is that so wrong? I think there's a road up this way. Hey, everybody! Hey, everybody! I'm your friend out here. Hmm. What's all this then? A little store with broken windows. Well, everybody's distracted by that burglar alarm. I go in here now. Wonderful. Everything's rotten. Oh, but there's stuff in the freezer! Oh, yeah, son! You ever eat a frozen orange? Oh, God, that is delicious. You ever eat some frozen honey? Oh, God, that shit is difficult to eat. <laughs> Basically like, uh, sugar crystals. Sugary ice crystals. I don't know why nobody's invented this yet. It's so, it's so wonderful. It's such a great idea. Why are we not writing this down and washing our hands immediately after? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, those callback jokes, let me tell ya. Mmm. Little, little drinky of coffee. Oh, and here's Pizza World. Pizza World, my favorite food in the whole entire universe. Pizza World, gonna eat some pizza, but not in the bathroom, because that's where people shit and stuff. Pizza World, Pizza World. I hope you have some things for me, Pizza World. You have nothing. There's nothing in here. There's some steak. Ooh, steak on a pizza. <sighs> what will they think of next? Fuck! I'm like so excited for just the thought of that. <laughs> that makes me kind of sad in a way. Oh, my mouth is just watering at the thought of like a fucking... <laughs> a fake pizza. The pizza's not even here, Dayton's mouth. I don't know why you're, you're getting all uppity. Oh man, we're gonna eat that soon? No, we're not. I'm sorry to disappoint you. <laughs> oh, we don't get to eat that? Nope, we don't. I'll just sit down for a little bit. Smell the rotting corpses slash pizza. <laughs> oh man. I was watching, um, what's that movie called? Fuck. It's about that Uruguay rugby team that crashed in the mountains. Alive. That's what it is. Makes me wonder why I can't just eat people while they're zombies or something like that. Wouldn't that be nice? Wouldn't it be so convenient? Climb through there. No, climb through it. God damn it. Nobody understands anything. Oh god. Now you understand too well. <laughs> oh, my fingers, my brain, I can't. I thought I heard some banging in here. There is some banging. Alright, this is the man's restroom. You can tell because it has those those things on the walls that you pee in. You ever pee in those things on the walls? Guys, uh, probably yes. Girls, only if you have a special talent. It is a special talent. And, uh, you can totally do it. You just gotta, like, aim your pee hole. <laughs> you gotta, like, work your pee hole around. Which is possible, you know. The vagina's not completely attached to, uh, to your pelvis. <laughs> so I heard. I don't know. I don't know. I haven't had a vagina for at least, like, 20 years or something. <laughs> not since I was a little girl. Oh, you wanna come in here? You wanna come in here? 
Come on in here. We're having a party. We're having a pizza party. Bam! How's that, sucker? This place is a fucking mess. I don't know what happened. It was a hell of a party. There's another dude. Come on in. Here you go. I'm not going outside to get you. Fuck that. I also, uh, read in the patch notes that dead bodies, staying around dead bodies can make you sick. So it's a good idea to move them whenever possible. But obviously I'm not going to be staying here for very long. I'm just going to eat some lollipops out of the trash can. I was hungry until I ate a lollipop out of the trash can. Well, is that because the lollipop filled you up or because you ate it from the trash can? <laughs> I don't know. Probably both. Damn, it's raining hard out here. I should not be out here. What a nice little parking lot. Hmm, is this another police station? Oh god. Oh fuck. Cutting it really close there, Dayton. There we go. I think this is the warehouse. Did I stop in here before? Hmm, maybe it's a gym. Maybe it's a school. It looks like a school. Lipstick, pens. Yeah, that cool girl in class was sitting over there. She's like, I don't talk to losers. And then I beat her to death with a baseball bat. Hell yeah! Bitch! <laughs> uh, I was pretty cool back in high school. But that was basically because uh, nobody knew me from fucking Bob. <laughs> my family moved around so much. Or rather, my mother uh, moved around a whole lot. Like, every couple years, I was in a new school. So I... Uh, quickly learned how to make friends in an easy way and that was mostly by uh being the class clown being a fucking asshole in class no wonder my teachers didn't like me but it wasn't the teacher's opinion that I was trying to improve I was like I'm I'm trying to make some friends and guess what I don't talk to any of those fucking friends anymore so <laughs> my grades suck uh the friends that I had are no longer in my life at all so, what did I do it for? Just to fuck myself over. Because I was a punk, bro! I didn't listen to authority. No way. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, from the mouths of babes, huh? Damn, I brain that guy standing up. Boy, let me tell ya. Take some vitamins. That's nice. And instead of going in the fucking house with things in it, I go into the the shitty abandoned for lease. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, whatever. I want to be in here anyways. There's so many zombies down this way. It's like a grand adventure. Da 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 you like Dad Rock? Me too, kinda. Until I formed my own opinion about music, and then I was like, oh, I just kinda like this because my dad liked it. And then, uh, yeah. I still don't really listen to music that much anymore. Those bands that I thought I liked, I, I found out that they're, uh, they're pretty shit. Found out that I don't really like music all that much anyways. <laughs> what does it do? Bring joy into your life? Relieve stress? Fuck that. I'll jerk off. <laughs> Adult Education Center. This is where I need to go. Oh, it's locked. Damn, they wanted to protect all the adults from being educated. Ain't that just society? Ain't that why we've gone the way we've gone? Huh? You know it is. You know it is! It's a government plot! Sounds like helicopters. Black helicopters. You UN helicopters. <laughs> I haven't had any fucking helicopters. I think in the first few episodes there were helicopters, but then uh, all the helicopter pilots died or something, I guess. Well, good riddance. We need those fuckers anyways. Let me get rid of this guy. Is there a back door to the adult education center? Yes! I am in here now. Let's drink from the water cooler. Um, mm, oh. See, it has two taps. The blue one is for cold, and the red one is for hot. Because blue means cold, and red means hot. Wow, I'm learning so much at the Adult Education Center. 
This is probably where I need to go. After reviewing my grades in high school, oh my god, what what a fucking mess. What a fucking mess. Still raining. God damn. I don't like it. I don't like it none too much. Let's just run around this building like a tard, like a spurg. Oh my god. <laughs> that fella almost got me. God damn. Whew. Sometimes I want to do stupid stuff just to have uh, a little bit of funsies, and then I almost die. And I guess, uh, you know, you get a little adrenaline rush, something like that. But is it worth it? I don't know. I don't know. Look at this place. Damn, they got like a sun deck and shit. And apparently a lot of zombies. They're just groaning. Hey, come over here. I don't want to break the window. This is such a nice place. Who lives here? In this nice place? Probably these people. They're just trying to get back inside. They just locked the keys out. I'll open the window for you, bro. Alright. Let me open the window for you now. Oh, I can't. You guys, these windows aren't even openable. Oh my god. I almost died. I almost died. Brushing shoulders with zombies and shit. Oh, energy drink. I'm gonna drink some of this. That's a Red Bull. Oh, there's another Red Bull. I should take it. I should take it. Yes, I need it. You know, pop is delicious, but uh, it just can't compare. I'm still trying to kick that Red Bull habit until they uh, they become a sponsor. And then I'll be like, hell, I drink this shit every day. <laughs> I drink 12 of these every day. My heart palpitations are awesome. <laughs> Uh, my girlfriend, my wife now, <laughs> she can't drink Red Bull. She's so sensitive to caffeine. I give her like a little sip of coffee. We got like a, a Frappuccino coffee uh, from one of these coffee joints around here. Coco Corner, that's what it's called. And uh, she's like, is this coffee flavored or does it have actual coffee in it? And I'm like, I don't know. I, I really don't know. And uh, so she she started to drink it, and about ten minutes later, she's like, "Yeah, that's fucking real coffee. My heart is banging through my chest." <laughs> and uh, yeah, I let her try Red Bull one time. She didn't believe me that it was super strong. It's not as strong as coffee, for the record, but it is fucking powerful stuff, especially with the sugar. You know, I don't think it's the the caffeine count. That's really uh, making the difference in Red Bull. It's all that fucking sugar. <sighs> ah, and I love sugar so much. Look at all these sodas. Fuck. I'm gonna drink all the sugar. Why would you have a steak? And I'm not eating a gas station steak. Fuck that. I <laughs> I could barely bring myself to eat a gas station hamburger. That's a lie. I'll eat any hamburger. I don't give a shit. <laughs> it seems to be a lot of uh. Knox Bankses. How many banks does one town need, huh? This is a, a bit of a nicer branch. I like that they don't have the same layout. That's pretty cool. You could be like, yeah, it's a chain. Well, guess what? Even in a chain, the buildings aren't all built the same. They just use the same tile set, which I think is pretty cool. Disassemble door. We need a hammer and a screwdriver. Don't I have that shit? Maybe I don't have a screwdriver. Hmm, there's my hammer. Yeah, I don't have a fucking screwdriver. Are you kidding me? Why would I leave that? Oh, there's a lady in there. Hey, can you can you help me? Can you help me open this door? Okay, she's she's not a help. She's just banging her head against it. Um, I'll help you escape if you can promise not to eat my brain. All right. We got a deal? Are we fucking square? We'll see. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hey. Alright, you got that look in your eyes. Hungry eyes! Ooh, key. That's probably for that door that I just broke. <laughs> You've got hungry eyes! Wow, there's fucking nothing in here. 
I assume because it was locked, it was going to be fucking some awesome stuff. It is a bank, after all. I could have been super rich and shit, but that was uh, not to be, apparently. Oh, I forgot to open my compass. I don't know which way I'm going now. And now I do! Kind of, not really. <laughs> oh well. Do they have a chair that I could sit and rest in for just a mom? Just a mom. Because I don't have enough time to say moment. That's for plebs, bruh. You just say the first the first syllable of a word. You like, want to go eat some sush, bruh? Or you could say the last syllable, I guess. Sometimes I say za. I'm going to go get some za, dude. Pizza. That's what that means for the uninitiated. Oh, fuck. Look at this control panel. Holy shit. Can I disassemble this? I guess not. Well, it's pretty cool still. Mm, fucking shit. <laughs> fuck the police. Fuck the police. Fuck them. No, seriously. Make love to them. They deserve it. They're keeping you safe on the streets every day. Unless you have a significant other. In that case, don't do it. Disregard everything I'm saying. Because <laughs> that person is going to be mad. And you'd be like, I was just trying to do a service for, for our police officers out there. And they're going to be like, divorce. Go fuck yourself from now on. Or maybe you can move in with the police officer. I don't know. Maybe he's got a significant other too. Maybe you're both bad people. <laughs> Because there's uh, not a whole lot in this world that I'll say, that's bad, you shouldn't do that. There's stuff that I disagree with, you know what I mean? I've talked about my uh, transgendered cousin before, and I'm like, hmm. Whole family's applauding, and I'm like, hmm. I'm about the only one that's like, nah. <laughs> I disagree with that. You were born a boy, you were a weird little boy, but guess what? You should probably stay a boy. And if you fucking go through with it, then yeah. You might have some regrets later. Uh, I was reading a post on one of the the subreddits there, and they were like, "Yeah, after after eight or nine years, I, I want to go back to to being a guy or something, and I can't. I don't have a choice anymore." And I'm like, "Well, that's a pretty permanent decision you made, isn't it? <laughs> Just give yourself the option." Besides, transgender uh, penises and vaginas are not as sensitive. They're not, they're not gonna be good. You gotta wait till the technology catches up. Oh my god. <laughs> Although I don't think uh, they're ever gonna be able to like put a uterus in a man. I fucking read some article that was like, Science is on the verge of fake uteruses in a man. And I'm like, if you try to squeeze a baby out of man's pelvis, men and women's pelvises are differently shaped. That is just a scientific fact. That baby is gonna get fucking mushed up like a Play-Doh fun maker or whatever the fuck it is. <laughs> it's not going to be good is what I'm saying. Don't do it, please. For for your sake, for the baby's sake, I beg you, please. Nobody's going to listen to me. They're like, I, I do what I want. I know what's right for me. I'm like, okay. You probably do. I don't know. I, I get an opinion, but you're the one that has to live with it. So I won't make my opinion that known. Not unless I'm asked about it. I don't, uh, you know, go to Thanksgiving and fucking talk shit or whatever. I'm just like, okay. That's how it is, but if you ask me about it, I'm gonna tell you the truth. I gotta tell you the truth. You fucking deserve the truth from me. Don't you? Even if it, even if it hurts, even if you don't want to hear it. I heard, uh, a pretty good quote on Twitter the other day that was like, if you want to make a conservative mad, lie to him. If you want to make a liberal mad, Tell him the truth. <laughs> and I was like, hell yeah. That's making a lot of sense. Because, you know, I'm from California, living in the Philippines now, which is extremely, extremely conservative. So I agree with the views a lot more here, obviously. You know, abortion is illegal in the Philippines. I'm still kind of half-half, you know. Um, my girlfriend, god damn it. <sighs> wife. She is my wife now. I gotta get used to that. I've been saying girlfriend for, uh, yeah, forever. <laughs> I've never called anybody my wife before her. So, uh, it's gonna take a little bit of getting used to. But I'm so happy that she said yes, and we got all married up. And, uh, yeah. Just going to sleep next to her, 
Knowing that we're gonna build a life together, that's that's so fucking touching to me. I've never wanted to take that chance with anybody before. You know, American women scare the shit out of me, honestly. <laughs> they got like all these plans and ideas and uh, fucking repercussions for marrying them and getting a divorce. Guess what's also illegal in the Philippines? Divorce. <laughs> you can't get a divorce. You better work that shit out. Oh, and also, uh, infidelity. If, you're, uh, if your spouse commits infidelity, they can go to jail in the Philippines. So, like I said, Philippines, much, 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 much more conservative. <laughs> Which is kind of weird for me because I grew up in an extremely liberal family. And so, yeah, my family often asks me, like, how did you turn out this way? And I'm like, well, I just looked around myself, you know? <laughs> it was quite a simple choice to make, honestly. If you see the way uh, liberals think and apply a little critical thinking to things, you go, wow, you're doing an awful lot of double think here. I don't think I, uh, I agree with these views. I don't think I want to espouse these views to my children. So, uh, largely conservative, but libertarian more than anything. I say do what you want. Anti-identitarian libertarian. I don't want people to fucking look at me and be like, Oh, he's white. He's evil. It's like, you don't know shit about me, number one. My family's been in America for like three, four generations. That's l not long enough to own slaves, bro. And only like the top whatever... You know those one percenters that everybody's uh, marching against? Yeah, those are the guys. Go get those guys. But you can't because they live behind gates and have armed security. So, you can cry to them if you want. But, uh, yeah. They got people to go through their Twitter account. <laughs> Just block block those people. I don't want to hear this opinion. I always get really sad when uh, I've never talked to somebody and they have me blocked on Twitter. I'm like, really? Was my opinion that fucking out there for you? I don't, I don't ever really say bad words or uh, insult people, not not directly. Anyways, some people get insulted by the things I say, but I can defend the things I say if you if you want to go down that road. You know, I wouldn't say it if I if I couldn't back it up. But a lot of people just just want to keep their uh, their safe space. Are you fucking kidding me? There's a an alarm in this garage? Jesus Christ. The door was open! How had a zombie not set that off already? Fucking dickheads. Wow! Wow, look at all this shit! Oh my god. I want this. I want to put this on my gun. Okay, let's, let's watch the door first. And then maybe I could attach it to, like, the hunting rifle or something. Skeletal stock. Saw-off shotgun. Ooh. That could be cool. Oh my god. Fucking burglar alarms everywhere, dude. I have not been able to get a break from this shit today. Ugh. I don't understand. Well, Dayton, that's because you're espousing the wrong political views. There's no such thing as a wrong political view, okay? People get their opinions. Period. You wanna you wanna shut people up because of their opinion? That's fascist. That's fascist right there. What we need to do is uh, put all the opinions out on the table, sort the good ones from the bad ones. Simple. The only way you can do that is through uh, having discussion, which a lot of people don't like. I know Europe doesn't like it. They're like, oh. We're gonna jail people for uh, bullying online or whatever the fuck. So silly. Orwellian nightmare over in Europe. Oh my god, look at all this shit. Okay, we might be in trouble. Holy fuck. Holy fuck. Alright. Book it. Book it, book it, book it. Oh my god. This is not good. This is not good. Holy fuck. Piss. All right. Okay. Everything's fine. <laughs> Whoa! No! No! I didn't know I couldn't get over the wall. Oh God! Fuck! Did I get bit? Did I get bit? No. Okay. We're fine. Everything's good. 
Uh, not really good, but we're still alive. Oh, Jesus Christ. Just run. Oh, my God. Oh. Okay, is it safe? Is it safe? Oh, wow, look at this warehouse. Boy, let me tell ya. We could set up in here. I mean, I'm not going to. But we could set up in here. There's so much stuff. My god. It's too bad I got so much stuff at the other base. I should just be like a bandit and shit. And start setting up bases everywhere. That might be just what I do. Might be just what I start to do. Oh. God, they followed me. I see you out there. I see you out there, bitch. Stay out of my house. This is my house. Alright. Well, come over here then. I don't want you to die inside my house. Because I'll get sicky. I'll get sicky poo. From your smelly, stinky body. Stinky, rotting flesh. Delicious. There's so much shit in here. Wow. I don't really feel like going through all these boxes. Upstairs? More boxes? What? Hmm. This kind of reminds me of something. Box of balloons. Wow! I think maybe me and Playintosh set up here. Or maybe I visited this place uh, when I was playing solo. But it seems really fucking familiar to me. Whether I played played anywhere near here for the channel or not, that is a mystery to me, but, um, I'm definitely getting a, a heavy sense of deja vu here. Hmm. Lots of windows on the top floor that I would need to board up. There's a little bit of water in the sink there. It's got a kitchen as well. Not as many kitchens as, or not as many fridges as my, uh, my restaurant does. That's the nice part about the restaurant. Got all these fucking fridges. Tell you what, boy. Hmm. I might have to set up here for the night. It seems to be getting a little bit late. You can't take the sheets out of the bag while you're resting? You a lazy motherfucker. <laughs> oh, look, my beard grew back. I guess I've been nourishing myself well. Wonderful. Let's close these curtains before that guy turns around. Wonderful. And we got two more sheets. Hell yeah. Pop those on there. Excellent. So I'm feeling uh, safer. Probably need a couple more sheets for that door. Right? Well, this door's safe. So if I sleep back here, I should be relatively okay, but I want to get rid of this fuck. This stupid fuck that's just standing around like a stupid fuck. Wow. What a what an evocative description. <laughs> You're such an intelligent person to speak this way. Oh god. Alright, is my blunt accuracy up yet? No, that's carpentry. We're we're so fucking close. Ugh. Ugh, and carpentry's getting there too. I think I have the boost for level seven and eight, and then I don't know where the books for 9 and 10 are. I don't really know uh, what I would need it for either. I could dig through this fucking crafting menu some more, but... It's been such a help in the past, you know. <laughs> Gather gunpowder? What? Blow my mind, why don't you? Fuck. So much to discover about this game. So much that I don't yet know. Uh, so much to discover about the world. So much that I don't yet know. But... I hope you uh, agree with some opinions that were espoused, even if you uh, disagree. I hope that you can respect them. And if you want to argue in the comments, that sounds like a good time to me. I love arguments. I love debates. And, uh, yeah, it's it's kind of hard to do that when your your entire family is wa thinking one way and then you're the only uh, voice of reason, as it were. <laughs> so uh, if you agree with me, do let me know, too. I'll give you a high five through the internet. Bye-bye. Anyways, I hope that you like, comment, and or subscribe on this episode. Enjoy this Project Zomboid video. Rather, if you did enjoy this Project Zomboid video, my brain's falling apart already. 
it's uh, a little late here. Anyways, I will see you in the next one, friends. Thank you so much for your viewership. We are creeping up on 1,000 subs. Uh, we have been for a while, but we're at 970 now, which is fucking crazy to me. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Maybe one more month or something with my uh, current rate. Or if I if I play like a, a new game or something like that, it could jump up even faster. But um, yeah. I ain't got the extra income now. I got a wife and a child to think of before the, the YouTube channel. So hopefully you're enjoying uh, the keys that I'm sent from game devs and uh, digging through my Steam library from bundles and things like that. And uh, we'll make some ground in due time. Anyways, thank you so much for supporting. If you've, uh, if you've just joined or if you've been here for a long time, you're both equally important. Although the guy that's been here for a long time is a little more important. <laughs> Anyways... I'm such an idiot. I'll see you in the next one, friends. Thanks so much for watching. And until then, bye bye One, two, three, four. Goodbye, goodbye, see you again. Goodbye, goodbye, see you, my 